were short some sheep one morning. So I saddled up and took off. I got about a mile and a half from home and I jumped a coyote that had just spilled up on a rabbit. They don't run very good when they're full. Well, I had my 2520 with me. So standing up in my stirrups and holding the gun out to the side of the horse's head, the third shot, I got him. We were loping along. <laughs> what was that worth? Two dollars a head? Uh, no, that was a grown coyote in the fall. And I don't know what that hide might have been worth. Maybe ten, fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad and mother was staying in Baker and put Pat through school. And decided to move out the place. Three or four days after they got out there, mother got sick and she broke out with the measles. So dad woke me up about midnight one night. I got in the pickup and drove to Willard and the guy at Willard offered to take his car. We went to Baker and got a doctor. This was in the spring, the mud was pretty deep in places, but we all made it. Back years ago, Gene or my brother Bucky lost in World War II, two years older than me. I suppose this was in 25 or 26, something like this. There was a dance at Milk Creek Schoolhouse. So Dad hitched up the team to buggy and loaded up and went to dance. Well, Bucky got sleep, they took him out and put him in the buggy to sleep. Well, an hour or so later, why, dance was over, Dad hooked everything up, loaded everything up, went home. He got home. Short one kid, Bucky. Well, he slept a while in the buggy and then he got up and started having a good time. Dad has had to saddle a horse. This was two or three o'clock in the morning and went back to Bill Trick, got Bucky. <laughs> I guess now maybe that could be my all of it. <laughs>